hi guys in this video we will learn how to drag and drop file upload in laravel live wire so let's get started with an example and let's understand so let me go here and you can see that i simply created one component that's called product create component and you can see that i take a name and price field and when you hit submit it will create one record into the database so let me go here you can see over here i already create component blade file and this is a simple component class okay so now what i will do simply add one more field that's called photo and where you can upload by choosing the click event on that and you can drag and drop and upload the file over here okay so let me go here and first of all what i will do simply copy this paste it over here and i will say choose photo okay and type will be file and then i will also take photo okay save it okay and now let me go here and here i will be take one variable over here photo okay and simply go here and you can see that file control and here i will simply say photo now simply save it okay now what i will do refresh it you can see that there is a photo option if i click on it i can choose the image over here that's fine but what if i want to drag and drop for example if i go here and for example go to documents it is solution stuff videos tutes and if i go and I, if i want to drag and drop then what happen you can see that right now it's not going to handle it okay so what i will do simply i will do first of all i will take one div over here okay and i will add border and i will make some more space over here p4 okay and i will say text center and then i will say background color pg light i will use the bootstrap class over here okay and i will put inside this okay save it okay and what i will do the next i will simply take one p tag okay and here i will be say drag and drop file or like click to browse okay simply i given the message over here simply save it okay and now let me go refresh it you can see that there is a drag and drop file or click to browse okay so that means the message properly fine okay so what i want to do basically when i click on this area then it should be open the browse and you can choose the image otherwise you can drag and drop over here okay so what i will do first of all i will make it display none this one so i will use bootstrap class for it so i will say d none so that means bootstrap bootstrap provide style like display none so you can see that now it's gone properly okay and now what i will do when i click on it first of all it should be open the pop-up okay so let me go here and i will use javascript for it so what i will do simply write the script for it and here i will be use document dot document dot query select and i will select which element so i will use border this class so i will say dot border and i will simply say add event listener okay and then what i will do simply i will access the click event so when you click on this border then this function will call over here okay and what it does so i will say document dot get element by get element by id and which id so i will add over here one id element file input something like that and simply i will put it over here and then click on it save it okay and now let me refresh it and if i go and if i click on it you can see that it's open the pop-up over here okay you can see that and here is the error because we used file upload so let me use this trait over here simply go here and yeah use save so we can ignore this error use file upload save it okay refresh it i can choose again and you can see that it's fine over here okay so what i will do the next you can see that there is a steel cursor i want to make it cursor pointer so what i will do simply i will write style over here and i will say cursor should be pointer save it okay refresh and you can see that now there is a cursor point so easily user can understand you can upload the image over here okay now what's the next okay i also want to make some proper design so i will say border 
dashed okay so simply like user should feel like that should be a drag and drop okay so simply yeah dashed okay save it okay now what i will do i can also drag and drop the file so let me go here if i go and if i put it over here then you can see right now it's open in the new new tab automatically because this is not support onboarding like on you know like uh, i will say on drag and that event is not supporting so what i will do simply go here and here i will write javascript function that scroll on drag over okay and that by default i will say event or prevent default so when i will drag over then it should be a simply prevent default okay and then next i will use on drop okay and what i will do over here simply i will call one function hand drop okay and then simply save it okay and bracket i will pass event variable over here okay save it and here what i will do simply create one function so i will say function and that function will be hand drop okay and here i will be say simply event okay simply save it okay and now what i will do over here save it and here i will be get event dot prevent default by default and then here we i will be get the file object okay so what i will do event and then i will simply say data transfer and save it okay now let me go and let me open inspect element and if i refresh it and simply what i will do simply i will get and put it over here you can see that if i drag and drop then i got the entire object over here okay before do that i will also do one thing okay so i want to display the preview also over here okay so what i will do i will say if so we can easily understand photo then simply i will say and if here i will be take one div and i will say class mt3 and what i will do over here p that should be strong and i will say preview and then i will take one sorry not input i am say image okay and what i will do in src over here i will simply say photo and then i will simply say temporary url okay and here i will be use bootstrap class mg thumbnail and i will simply say width for it so max width i will simply set 150 pixel okay save it okay and now let me refresh it okay and i will choose image so you can see that i can get the preview as well over here okay so now if i refresh it okay now if i drag and drop this image okay you can see that i got nothing because you can see that if i go here files and there is already length over here okay so simply i will get the first object so what i will do simply go here and here i will be simply say dot files save it okay now let me refresh it and i will again drag and drop yeah you can see that i got the one file response over here with the name last modify and all the things okay so what i will do simply i will use live wire this upload method and first argument will need to pass the field name so photo and i will assign first object of this file so what is the first object i can get directly from zero something like this way okay simply remove this one okay save it now let me go refresh and if i go and let me drag and drop this image let me do it again yeah you can see that over here i can easily drag and drop this image and it's coming over here okay now what i will do the next it's it's already put it in the photos so what i will do i will add one more validation photo and right now just i am taking the required okay then what i will do simply i will say path and here i will be say this photo and then i will simply say store method first argument will be products folder name and then it should be stored into the public disk okay so that means if i go here into the storage and sorry for the app public it's already products so what i will do 
product store okay simply save it so it will create a new folder that's called product store okay save it okay and this path i will going to store into the database so simply go here and here i will be take i already taken one field you can see that photo so what i will do simply say photo and here i will be say path okay simply save it and at the end it should be also empty save it okay and now if i go here i also need to add success message over here session and then i will simply say success then i will say and session okay and here i will be say alert alert success and here i will be get session value save it okay now let me go and refresh it okay now i will add like test one price will be 100 and i will drag and drop the image okay simply go here yeah you can see that preview and if i click on submit you can see that product created and again it's reset the all the fields and let me go here into the browser sorry in editor and you can see the product store you can see that image is also coming over here and now let me go here into the database refresh you can see that i received one record over here that's called name price and photo so you can understand how easily we can drag and drop file using laravel live wire so if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys